Have you wondered if driving around in L9 actually keeps your V8 a V8? Have you also wondered, does a throttle response controller do anything? Well, today we're gonna find out with this launch scanner by King Bolin, and I'll also show you a little bit of its capabilities. When you first plug this into your OBD2 port, you just hit diagnose, and then you auto detect your vehicle. Once it's found your VIN number, you just hit next. Now this is gonna run through the vehicle and give you a nice health report and tell you if you have any codes. Once it's done, it'll give you this nice little readout so if we hit back, now you can click into each module, and this is where we're gonna begin our first test. You hit read data stream, cylinder deactivation data. You'll scroll down until you see cylinder deactivation system activation pattern. You'll select it, and then you'll hit okay. Now we're ready to take the test. All right, guys, we're starting our cylinder deactivation test. I've got it in drive. Let's see how many combinations it does. Right now, we've got all cylinders activated and we're getting up to about 65 miles an hour. It says it's two cylinders and then it went to three cylinders. It's showing two cylinders active. So we can see that it is deactivating cylinders. So let's go ahead and switch over to L9. Now we're in L9, let's keep a look on the scanner. So I'm going right around the same speed and no cylinders are going off. So this proves that driving in L9 does bypass that and it's a free bypass. Next test, we've got this really nice edging brick that is pressing down our accelerator pedal. Let's climb in the truck, check it out. I've got the brick pressed down on the accelerator pedal. The value we're getting is 18%. So I've got the Jet Performance throttle controller. It's called the accelerator. If I hit the one position, it cranks it up to 22%. So if I hit the two, 26%, the three, 29%, and the four, 33%. So let's see what happens when you go to the valet mode, which is supposed to be a lot less throttle response. That's number five. So that dropped down to 9%. So this throttle response controller does work. What it does is it tricks your computer into having a higher value. So when you hit the gas, it goes a lot quicker because it already thinks you're at a higher percentage when you're hitting that accelerator pedal. Well guys, this is a pretty neat little scanner. It helped me answer some questions I had. And if you're looking for a mid-range price, this is not a bad option. Now, if you want something just for check engine lights around 20 bucks, they also offer one of those. And I'll leave a link to both of them in the description below. I appreciate y'all watching this. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so. Until next time, see y'all.